So today's quick golf tip is about perfecting your grip, putting your hands on the golf club in a way that's ideal for your golf swing. And again, don't try to copy someone else's grip. Try to make sure uh, that you're putting it on consistently. First, do me a big favor, click the red subscribe button below uh, to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to accept notifications as new videos are released. It really helps my channel grow a lot and allows me to provide this free content for you. Some really important steps here are to make sure as you put the hand on that it's supported, that the grip is supported by the heel pad of the hand. So if you look at your hand, the thumb pad is here, the heel pad is way back here. So if you're gonna slam your hand on a tabletop, that's what we want. And we need that heel pad to be supporting the club so that we can cock the wrist this way. When we're doing that, we want to also see that when the club is balanced here in front of us, we want to see the leading edge of the club vertical. So when we bring it down in front of us, uh, the club will be square and the heel pad will be on top of the grip. So a lot of people end up uh, with the hand in too weak of a position and you'll see the grip here at the top, the heel pad's not on top of what, and what's gonna happen, the club face is gonna be open through impact and to compensate, most people are flipping with the hand. So we need to really get the hand first, the leading hand on the club properly. Um, now, keep in mind with a wedge, with the ball in the middle, uh, the position that the hand ends up in. So if you look at the ball position here in the middle, uh, the club may look almost a little bit closed there. If I use my driver position and the club is square here and I go back to the middle, the club face is gonna be open. So the grip can vary a little bit from driver uh, to wedge shot. And you'll see the tour pros doing this all the time. And so we want to really as we're getting set up and fitting our grip to our swing, we want to be aware of that. Uh, so find first your leading hand grip, then the trailing hand grip, what I recommend is sliding the arm in here, the trailing arm along your torso, that it comes in, and I like to feel a little bit of elbow contact here against my right, against my trail side here, right above my pocket, and then I slide the hand underneath there you know, I start with my wrist in ulnar deviation, uh, as most of you know, which is basically an uncocked position, simply because at impact, it's going to be uncocked as well, much like Bryson DeChambeau does. And uh, so I'm getting set up, put my hands on, get my hands on the grip properly. I'm in ulnar deviation, and then I'm ready to go. And so if you're hitting some shots and they're tending to drift off to the right, what we'll do is take the leading hand and turn, move the thumb a little bit away from the target to a stronger position. So if you're slicing the ball, a little bit stronger position. If you're hooking the ball, the first thing we'll do is try to make sure that we have the hands leading through impact. If the club is still closed at impact and the ball's hooking, then we'll adjust a little bit to this side to a little bit more neutral or back of the hand more towards the target. So we fit the grip uh, to your results to quickly help you improve your game. So again, please check out my schools. Uh, the best way to improve your game quickly is through one of my three-day schools around the country. You can check that out at setupforimpact.com. My online learning program allows you to send in videos for my review. And either way, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Pop them in the box below. I look forward to hearing from you and have a great day.